do you do, Professor Van Dorn? What can I do for you, sir? Well, my name is Stanfield. I'm an electrical engineer, and I have something oh, here that... Not the son of Stanley Stanfield, who owned the Tribune, whose... Whose death a week ago was caused by business worries. Yes. Yes, he was my father. Your father once did me a great favor. Come in and sit down, won't you? Thank you. Now then, what can I do for you, son? Professor Van Dorn, I've come to you for advice about an electrical invention I've been working on. You know, I'm always interested in anything electrical. May I show you my blueprint? Yes, yes. Let me explain, Professor. This is something very unusual. You find it interesting? Yes, yeah, I do, I do. You say uh, your invention is not complete. Well, no. You see, it creates one effect that must be eliminated. Oh. And uh, you hope that, that you uh, will recognize the effect I want destroyed and suggest a, a means of doing so. You have great faith in my ability. Professor Van Dorn, you're the world's greatest authority on the power of electrical energy, how to control it and direct it. <laughs> you flatter me. Well, your article on the disposition of the atoms in space, and the osmotic pressure of dissolved substances, proves you're a great chemist. I accept the task. Thank you. Of course, you realize that uh, this will cost considerable. <laughs> yes, I do. And I hope to dispose of some very valuable bonds. Well, thank you again, sir. And goodbye. Goodbye. Move on, everybody. Go block. Well, that was a close one, Miss. Yes. Thanks for saving me. May I uh, take you home? If, if you'll be so kind, I, I feel quite shaken up. Come on. Tribune building. <laughs> I'll take you there. Afraid I might fall down again. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was Wade Barnett in that town car. Why did he stare at you? Do you know him? Why, everybody knows Mr. Barnett, don't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. My name is Stanfield. You've probably heard of me. I've had a lot of unpleasant publicity about the fight between Wade Barnett and my father. Oh, Stanley Stanfield. I've heard Mr. McDonald speak of you. McDonald? He's my new boss. Oh. I was very much interested in the battle between Stanfield and Barnett. Were you? May I ask why? Because Wade Barnett is my father. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry you helped Wade Barnett's daughter, is that it? Well, I don't blame you. You see, Father and I are, well, sort of enemies, too. Enemies? You mean that... That I don't approve of his methods of business. My sympathy was all with your father. Well, thank you, Miss Barnett. Gloria Grant. Grant was my mother's name. Using it saves me answering embarrassing questions. Please don't tell anyone. Mr. McDonald knows me only as Miss Grant. Well, your secret's safe with me, Miss Grant. Thanks. Oh, Mr. Cadwell is expecting you, Mr. Barnett. Go right in, please. Thank you. How are you, Cadwell? This is a great honor, Mr. Barnett. Have a chair. My business was of a nature that I couldn't discuss over the phone. Yes? Those uh, bonds, young Stanfield offered to sell you? Well, I want them. You shall have them. At my price. Well, that may be difficult. Stanfield is holding them pretty high. Well, I don't have to tell you why. But you're going to get those bonds for me and at my price. If it's humanly possible. Send for Stanfield. Tell him to bring the bonds here and don't let him leave this office until you have them. I do. My name is Stanfield. I'd like to see Mr. Cadwell. What is he expecting you? Well, no, not definitely. He told me to come and see him when I changed my mind about some bonds I had. I see. Just a moment. is here with the bonds. Here? Tell him to come in. But your presence here will get over the fact that I want those bonds. And young Stanfield, better than anyone else, knows that what I want, I get. I'm afraid Stanfield is one man you can't intimidate. No? I'll handle him. He hasn't had time to forget what happened to his father for opposing me. Tell Mr. Stanfield to come in. Yes, sir, right away. You may go in, Mr. Stanfield. Thank you. Oh, I beg your pardon, Miss Cattle. I thought you were alone. That's perfectly all right, Mr. Stanfield. You know Mr. Barnett? I can hardly forget the man that caused my father's death. Stanfield, your father was a fool. I gave him a chance to cut in with me and make a fortune. And he... Exposed you to the world for what you are. Why, you... Keep out of my way, Barnett. I'm warning you. It's you and your method of... Uh. Uh. Dorgan, you and Kent guard that door. Get police headquarters, miss. Police headquarters, quickly. You've got a pretty tight hold on that gun, haven't you? You'll swing for this, Stanfield. See, you don't try to frame me, Barnett. You know very well the gun went off in the struggle. Oh, yeah? Try and convince the police of that fact. There are four witnesses in this room who saw they got in your hand after the shot. Oh. Quick, after him! Use my car, take him to the pines! Get some water. 
I'm not seriously hurt. That bullet plowed through my shoulder. Well, I phoned my doctor. He'll be here in a few minutes. Here, take a little of this. got away. If we could have held him here until the police arrived, we'd have been sitting pretty. Now we've got to keep this away from the police and out of the papers. I'm sorry. I... Hey, where the hell are you going? Wrong. Professor, I had to come here. I had no place else to go. I've been framed, accused of murder. The police are after me. They're on my trail right now. I've got to hide. Well, I can't hide you. There's no place here to hide. That door leads to the workshop and closet. They'd be sure to search them. This window? That leads into the court surrounded by four walls. Wait a minute. What? It's my invisible ray. But how could you build it in such a short time? Our invisible ray. I also have been working on it for years. Your blueprint supplied something mine lacked. Have you faith in its operation? Well, of course I have. All except the shadow. Never mind the shadow. Put it on. Quick. Where's the fellow that was in that car? He went inside. You see? Everything according to your blueprints. Yes, I know, but what about the shadow? Never mind the shadow. It will help. Stand over there. Here they come. Come on, open up in there. Come on. Open Operate. There. Come on, Quick. breaking into my office in this way. We want Stanfield. Where is he? Stanfield? How should I know? Why should he come here? Don't stall. The only other two offices in this building are empty, so he must be here. Did he go out that window? No one went out that window. Look! That's him getting. He must be on the roof. He's on the roof. How'd he get there? There's a fire escape out in the alley. The janitor gave us a runaround. He didn't come into this place at all. And by the time we get on the roof... Come on, we'll get that murder. It worked, Stanfield. It worked. No greater test is needed. We've created... The greatest, the most far-reaching invention of the age. Its effects will be revolutionary. But tell me, my friend, what happened? Why were those men following you? Oh, yes, I'd almost forgotten. I... I'm a fugitive. A fugitive from what? Well, you see, it was like this. When I went to see Cadwell, the broker, about those bonds. Not a trace of anybody on the roof. Stay here and watch the alley. I'll blow the horn if I want you. Higgins, watch his car in the front of the building. I'm phoning Burnett. So I'll have to keep undercover until I have a chance to clear myself. That will be difficult. Everyone knows that your father exposed Barnett and this crowd through his paper, The Tribune. Yes, but everyone doesn't know that Barnett and his men broke my father mentally and financially. And caused his death. Barnett and his associates are a menace to the country.
But with the vanishing ray, we could learn all their secrets and expose them. You're right. We can work together. My lab at the beach is a most secluded and excellent place for you to hide. Good. Come. I have a car in the garage in the rear of this building. If you don't mind, I'd like to call Miss Grant. Before we go, tell her what's happened and where I'm going. Miss Grant, a woman. And you can trust her? Of course I can, implicitly. All right, Dorgan. Keep a close watch on that building. There's something phony about the whole business. Shadows don't come from nothing, you know. I'm sending you Stroud and Badger. Have Higgins come back with my car. Don't worry, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Uh-huh. Well, I want to thank you, Miss Grant, for your faith in me. And I certainly appreciate your offer to keep me posted. All right. Goodbye. Well, I think I'd better go on alone. You sure you can find it? Yes, I think I can. And, uh, you better follow me in your car. Perhaps that would be better. All right, Higgins, report back to the old man. Turn the car around park. We'll watch from there. Oh, but there's one thing I want to insist upon. If I'm seen by those crooks and they try to get me, you stay out of them. And don't call the police. Because they may be looking for me. Oh, I understand. All right, you go ahead. I'll follow. right. Van Dorn is helping him. Let's pick him up. No, no, no. Let him get away from the front of that building. Oh, my God. 